Alright, welcome to the Redbeard Show. Hopefully it's live. Let me know if it's working there, Chad. I always like to know if it's actually working. We're here in Birkin, the lovely Birkin above Whistler. I'm in Tank's shop. Tank's here, just got himself dressed for the show. He's got a shirt on. Looks good, brother. The naked show guys? is next week, so. Yeah. yeah no, just know. joking. That ain't happening. Uh, don't want to burn yourself badly. So anyway, we're having a good time. We're just getting planned out and ready for the show. We're going to be making uh, a fun piece today. We're going to put a chicken on top of a tank. That's Sergeant it. Chicken. Sergeant Chicken. We're thinking maybe uh, the chicken might be a dome on top of the tank. And maybe we'll put a green helmet carb cap on top of the chicken head. Uh, right in the tank. Maybe oh. some blood splatters on there somewhere. We also just talked about making the body of the tank, the chicken whole body, and then just sticking two tracks on the, on top of the chicken body. I think that's going to be our final go, right? So we haven't started anything yet. We've just got the kilns getting up to temp. Uh, so we're going to watch all the prep work in action. We're going to get started. Highly doubtful we'll actually finish this piece today, but we are keeping it fairly simple in hopes that we can get through it mostly to show you what we're doing. Anyway, uh, Here's Tank. Tank uh, well, lives up here shop. in Birkin. Uh, it's a lovely shop you got here, brother. Maybe uh, before we get started, we can do a little walk around. Let's do that. I think so, too. Maybe I'll leave the camera where it is, and we'll just, uh, or the computer where it is. We'll just do a little, a little s scope around. You got your sandblaster, I see. That looks a lot like mine. Yeah. Cool. Does a good job. Little proto section over here in the corner. Spare kiln, spare torches. Looks like you got room for friends to come over, yeah, eh? Yeah, there's uh, definitely room for more. We got 32 feet of bench space. 32 feet of bench space. Look at that. So that's your spot at the end. You're got using a Phantom. Here. I got a Mirage. Oh, Mirage. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I'll be using Soon a Red Max. <laughs> got two aim kilns. Here's your apprentice station. Making all those little guys. That's awesome. Nice ventilation. I was outside looking at that. Oh, look. Mine's still plugged. Should we unplug that, or is we just using that in the van? Just using that right now. Killer! Unfortunately, we had one die, so we had to plug it up so we don't get the back draft. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, let's give a little, let's go totally mobile and show you what's parked in the laneway. I had a lot of fun getting up here. I had a little breakdown, but I got to tell you, the bus is on the road. Now, it ain't a pretty bus yet. It needs a paint job, but that's what we're dealing with, folks. It's a 1960 Mercury, and I'm stoked to be driving it. It was like uh, it was like uh, the Redbeard parade driving up here, man. Like every car that passed slowed down and waved, and I got a Aruga horn in it, so I was popping the horn at every person that came by. It's got a Ford 390 engine in it, a great big gas guzzler. Yeah, yeah. Check out the engine scoops on the on the hood there too. I got my windshield washer pump in the in there. Anyway, it's pretty fun. It's got all the appliances in it. A little propane there. Pretty crazy. It's a lot of fun to drive. Anyway, this is Birkin. You got a lovely yard here, bro. There's our big oxy tank. This used to be Tyler's place, Tyler Smith, Tyler Smith Glass. If you ever need some good solid proto, that guy is making it still. He's out in New Brunswick now. So I'm familiar with this place. Tyler used to work for me. And now Tank is in the hood. Doing good things. Look at this shop. All right, well, hey. Let's get to work. Yeah, the bus needs a paint job. Then it'll be a real Ken Kesey bus. Right now, well, she's still got moss growing on the roof. Let's just say that. So are you thinking camo? Hey. So you're thinking camo for a paint job? No, I don't think so. Is that the, army green? The other bus is army green, and I don't know if I like it. Army gray? Ha. Okay, so I'm going to start off pulling a prep of this 38 millimeter wide tubing. It's four millimeters thick. I'm going to pull a section of that off. I'll pour some white frit into it. This is going to be the body of the tank. We're going to make it rectangular and then I'm actually, well the bottom kind of side with sides rectangular. It's going to have the flow on the top, the shape of a chicken. So, the track's orange. Yeah man, yeah, so it's a great idea. <laughs> See how it comes to us as we do it. He was going to make the tracks at a clear. Uh, well, we were started with making a clear tank here and just put the chicken on top. Now we've evolved into orange tracks. I think that's brilliant. Look a lot like uh, look a lot like chicken feet. Oh, I got a few pre rolls here. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, some sweet too. So obviously we've got Tank as the artist of the week this week. Uh, Tank, tell us a little bit about your glass, how long you've been doing it, where your work can be found, and uh, anything at all. You got a website? I had a website. It was pretty old. It never got updated. I went to go check it out the other day and it told me it wasn't there, so I have to redo it. <laughs> so look out for that in the website. near future. These days it's all been Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, that's pretty much and, uh, As far as shops, I have all my stuff up in most of the Vancouver stores. CCHQ, Ignite, Hempies, uh, Pop. Um, I have stuff out in Ontario with Higher Society Glass with Seamus. Yeah, usually my work can be found with those people or just online. Check out my Instagram, Tank Glass, or Facebook, Tank Glass. I've been working with Glass for eight years, eight years, I think. Maybe Sweet. Seven, eight years, yeah. Been a pretty amazing journey. Took my first Glass course the other day. Really? That ago. was your first? That was my first, the Marcel Braun course. Wow, dude. What an amazing guy, I have to say, too, to take a course from. Uh, very insightful, yeah. just uh, awesome wisdom, good choice of, I don't know. He's really personable. He's available, really personal knowledgeable. Guy, knowledgeable. He was able to yeah. tell you there's like scientific reasons why you, you want to do what you want to do. And just really, I don't know, really insightful, really insightful. Marcel's talked about coming up to the gathering. Uh, it's tough, we're always on the American Long Weekend. We'll see if we can come up. Talked about he's got some kind of rig he wants to drive up. Yeah. Tell you about that thing. Yeah. It's an affordable glass blowing rig. Yeah, that's always been a dream of mine, so something like your bus there. That's the idea. We're going to have a crazy caravan. We should probably introduce this guy. Yeah, you should probably introduce the, the tank behind the tank. This is the tank behind the tank. Tank dog. Tank dog. Tank dog, stay. Tank dog, stay. Good stay. dog. Stay. So his dog is named Tank. He's like a super dog. He is a super dog. He's like the so super feature. Oh yeah, now he's bragging. Ah. Anyway, is that Joe? It is. Joe Smith in the house. Joe Smith's been in the chat quite a bit with us during the shows. Maybe you guys remember him. Joe Smith works at this apprentice station here sometimes. Yeah. Joe Smith has been doing apprentice work for me, smashing out these food pipes. Killing it. Doing a killing job. Just uh. Yeah. It's nice up here, man. It's awesome out here. It's, it's nice, nice to be day. back. I just got back from two weeks in Toronto. Just got out here. And so this is your first in the time morning last this, night, this yeah. morning? Yeah, we were calling you last in. night, too. We were wondering if you were going to make it. I didn't know if the show was going to happen until just a couple hours ago. So this is pretty sketchy. Um, how can I clamp that down a little bit? Or put a toenail, a screw in? Have you got a screw gun? Feel like tipping the torch off the bench while I work. We wanted to start on time today, even though we weren't quite fully prepared and ready. But it's a live show, and it's on Fox TV, and we're having a good time. We hope you are too. We're smoking some blueberry grapefruit. What are you medicating on? This one's a sativa hybrid, uh, sativa indica hybrid. Uh, it's really good for appetite, good for pain, and uh, just all general well-being. Uh, I believe in medicating for preventative reasons, so I hope you all are medicating hard. Let me check the chat. Hey, 420 Bird Girl, that was fun hanging out with you too. Man, that was a good party in Kush. I always love going to the Vapor Central. That's a great time. I spent a lot. Of, I had a lot of fun at Marco's Lounge too. Uh, vape on the Lake. Oh, I had a blast in Toronto. That was a lot of fun. I tell you. Thanks, buddy. Save the beer. Yeah, Toronto's a good town. Lots of good folk. Lots of good folk, that's for sure. Had a great time. Can't wait to go back. We got a viewer in Alberta. We got a viewer in LA. Yeah, you're coming out here, 420 Bird Girl. You're going to come to the uh, gathering. Come to Cannabis Day. I saw Riffle666. He was my designated driver. Appreciated that, buddy. Next time we'll take a limo. <laughs> Not nothing against your driving, bro, but just just trying to look up in the world, right? Planning ahead. All right, so my oxy's not on yet. What are we gonna do there? Help! I need, the magic I need some oxy. Help! Hey, I want to make a plug. 
We've been uh, getting some great sponsorship for the glass gathering. And these folks I saw just, uh, was that yesterday or the day before? It's all a blur. Uh, Vancouver's own homegrown products. I want to show you this. These guys are really great. Really nice people. And I don't know if it's as important or more important. It's a resin buster. It, it works amazing. This is one of the best resin busters I've ever used. He did a demonstration for us at the glass gathering last year. He took a dirty ass fucking bong and didn't have to scrub it, just a little bit of shaky shake and you could just see the resin just falling off the sides. So that's Vancouver's own homegrown products, the resin buster. And you can find this in your local head shops. If they don't have it, get them to contact me. I'll give them their information or contact them. Google it, Vancouver's own homegrown products. Martin Milner and his lovely girlfriend or partner, Corinne, doing great work in Vancouver, BC. I shout out to those guys. And thank you for your support for sponsoring the gathering. I really appreciate it. It takes small businesses like that to make our community happen, to make these events happen. Uh, I'll also give shout outs in the, during the show to all the other sponsors. We've had a lot of good feedback and some good commitments. And I really appreciate that. I really do. So do I have Oxy yet? Hope I got oxy. I could always use this torch. Hey, I'll just prep up on your torch. Get started here. We're at almost 422. I better check the clock. Don't want to miss that. It's quarter after four. We'll have to smoke another one. I'm just going to split a tube over here. This will be for the uh, body of the tank, the body of the chicken. got some more music coming to the glass gathering. My reggae band that I had signed up, they dropped out. Oh, so, yeah, where's that CD yeah. that I can't put on there? Right? Yeah, it's right there on the couch, the arm of the couch. Arm of the couch. So these guys contacted me, and Larry lives in Pemberton here, close by. He's actually a member of the coalition, and he's going to be playing with uh, a five-piece bluegrass club. Alchemy Frit. Hey, 
it. Fred Beard in the chat. Is that the same Fred that's over at the gathering spot talking about your hemp seeds? Right on. Thanks for joining the show. Fred's awesome. We were doing some videos on the show. And it's the same Fred. Cheers to Fred Beard's been volunteering all day. We did some chainsawing and some some fence building. Okay, now I'm looking for my lighter. Oh yeah. 419 folks. I'm already medicated. We're already early. Oh well. Early riser. Oh. It's been a while since I've used the red max. So bear with me. Kicking it old school. Kicking it old school for sure. I'm not gonna bust that mirror, am I? I like big flame. Big flame! Alright, so I just gotta uh, find myself a punty. A punty is a temporary handle that we use to hold the piece while we're turning. It's my shit. Hook me up, Joe. Seven or eight, Bill? With a Joe Weld on it, I see. Uh, here's one with other balls. That's all good, your balls tight. <laughs> How long have you been practicing and working there, Joe? Uh, about two months, I think. There you are. So you must be stoked about the gathering. You're going to come and watch uh, 30 or 40 different artists work at the same time. Well, I've seen the gathering last year. It's the first time that I've ever gotten to really experience the for every four of those kind and it's fascinating, amazing, and hypnotic. Yeah, fascinating, amazing, and hypnotic. Nailed it. This year, we're, uh, I haven't set a limit to how many tortures we have yet. So I was over at the venue now where I've decided I'm going to have a generator as well as the new 200 amp service we put in. So we might, we might put another uh, a second uh, blast point tank. You know where we used to have the tent on that flat spot? I might go there as well as the ground. I think that'd be a good idea. Have two separate areas. Yeah, and then you can just walk back and forth between, like just across the lane there. You know, so we'll see. Up on top of the hill, yes, you know, but that's going to be the dance floor. Yeah, the dance floor stage. And the dance floor can then be on like next to the snack bar. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we're just coming up with a plan for the yeah, gathering. The dance floor be in that we're in the old tank. Well, no, I want to put it there. Oh, yeah. I see. Maybe in that flat area. So you can have a dance floor. I want the, I like, I want the music real close to us. One of the funnest things that I've ever done is blowing glass with live band music. Yeah. That is just, you pick up on each other's vibes and I generally yeah, dance yeah, around yeah, and have yeah. a fun time. And it's really great, eh? I'm really excited. We got a Grateful Dead cover band playing this year. We got a bluegrass band playing. We got Kiwiweed on the DJs. Oh, Pat Constant, DJ Explains, gonna be in the house. Hey, he's, I think he's in the chat too. Thank Vancouver Seed Bank in the chat room. Yep, yep. Justin Thatcher, killing it. Thatcher Glass. Anyway, that's enough grit. I'll just let the rest fall out. So I got a nice. Nice good coat of white on the inside of this. Now I need to gather it up. Gather it up. You know what else I didn't get ready is uh, a decent glow light. Oh, I see one in front of me. Got the tiny gold new tool, the tiny gloves. They are wonderful for your look at the Oh, snap. We'll have to check those out in a minute. That's a nice bike. I'm going to use this tool that I've never used before. A carbon triangular uh, reamer here. It's just perfect for flaring open glow pipes. See that? Man. I'm just putting a new glow uh, pipe on this. The last one was uh, pulled. It had some white powder in it. 
and uh, it's just a little thin. And it's always super important to have a trustworthy blow pipe, a handle, a hollow handle, something you totally trust. You're gonna the whole weight of the piece is gonna be on that. Well, I am used to my big torch. <laughs> this is going to take a while. A little bit of a gather gather here. So how did you find the Delta Mag? I ordered it. I had to wait a year to get it. Oh, wow. And then after the year went by, it's not a year and a bit, I started uh, emailing them every week at least, every twice a week, and calling them. I think that's, look, I, that's the reason I got it. Can you see it on the show? It looks like a monster. It is. It's actually, it's so big, if I forget to wear long sleeves, I, like I burn my arms. I can't, you can't use it without sleeves. Yeah. And really, I, should, I need to get a face shield. My beard works pretty good, but my cheeks and my nose get burnt. So note how I go on an angle here. That kind of preheats the colder part of the tube for me. Warming up a little wider section, a little more of the tubes in the flame if I go on an angle. A little trick when you're trying to gather up a big crack. Can you give me 10 pounds for our oxy? Joe? Please? More fire! Yeah, that's the thing about the new torch I got. It went Literally cut this process in half, maybe more. Just it's phenomenal. So as you can see, it takes quite a bit of time, even just to gather a bubble. What we're doing here. So one of the purposes of the show is to just kind of give you an appreciation of what we have to do to make. They make even sometimes the simplest of pieces. But this is not a simple piece. This is going to be a this is going to be an epic piece. Yeah. Simple to that piece. Sometimes take a long time. Okay. Yeah. I'm in here now. Yes, I definitely enjoy my winter Yeah, not going in the winter. That's kind of what, uh, I don't want to complain about where I live because I live in paradise right now, but the Okanagan is a very hot place to blow glass. I need to adjust my hours. Do they get the right regulator? That seems great. Yeah, it's a little stronger. That's great now. And then I'm, and I'm done for this gather, so thank you, Joe. Keep looking for the foot pedal. Oh yeah. Thank you, yours. Yeah. In case you didn't hear a tank, I want to repeat what he said. Now, uh, for you glass blowers, when you're working the Crayola colors, it's a nice and a good, smart thing to uh, increase your oxygen pressure. A little more oxygen in the plane. Helps those oranges and yellows. Woo! That was a cooker.
sweaty in here. Check the chat, make sure we're still alive. Are we still are we still live, folks? It looks like it. That's the thing when I'm recording. It's, it's like you're talking to the, the camera and there's supposed to be people there, but you're just talking to yourself. It's a pretty weird feeling. Alright, so the chicken gained a little weight. Fat chicken. Too fat. Let's bring it down a little bit. I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit, then I'll take the end off. And this end off, and then I'm going to pull the tail up and fan that out. Music didn't play, eh? up the end of this tube, that section, and I'm going to pull it out into a narrower tube, and we'll cut a few preps off of that. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just kind of wrapping my head around it now. Kind of going with the flow. The other thing I can do is just pull it upwards into the tail. Now 
if I wiggle it, hopefully it snaps right there. Bingo, set that in the kill. Almost ready. Thank you. So that's what I did there, and you're wondering, that's not looking like a chicken. Ah, I ain't done yet. This will be the second chicken I ever make. First chicken found its own with the company uh, Glassworks. Sold it at Chance in Toronto. That was Sudbury. Started out with Chase. Thanks for your support, brother. Here we are. Turn that up even more, I think. This is the bluegrass. Taking the shears and snipping right in there. <coughs> Hoping that'll give a feathered look. And if it don't, well, I'll just do it over again. Yeah, it smells like a cush. Uh, boxcar or mango? I'm not sure. I think boxcar. I've been really appreciative about my cushions lately.
now, it looks like. <laughs> I'll get closer, but it wasn't like it was. I needed to constrict it at the body and have it come out. So I just used my tweezers to grab it and push it in. Now we'll see if I can polish that off. Make it look a little leaner. Using Colby Quest Station here, so thank you, Colby. Is he still in Toronto? No, he's in Vancouver. He's staying in there until the Sage Francis show. Until so when? Sage Francis on the uh, 12th. Who's that? Uh, a really good hip hop artist. Oh, hip hop. Now you know, I was thinking about these, all the glass blowing hip hop bands. Uh, I hope you like bluegrass too. <laughs> Don't worry, DJ Exclaim will help you, right, brother? You know, I actually, I like hip hop, uh, I can groove to it, I just don't know much about it, I don't listen to it on my own. Thank you very much. Woo, sweaty, sweaty. Face swab over here. Let's go see what uh, Tank's up to, get a little close up action here. Oh, there's a mirror there. Hey, everybody. Now you can see the uh, camera and both of us. Yeah, Fred, these guys don't play reggae. They're, they're bringing a fiddle, uh, a bass, stand-up bass, guitar, uh, fuck, what else did they say? Five piece bluegrass band. And the uh, Grateful Dead cover band is, I think they're a four piece at least, anyway. Kicking. Walk on Dead. From Bowen Island, maybe? Or I might be wrong on that. From the lower BC mainland. Tank's just barbering down his uh, tracks. Is this a single one still, or is it uh, a double? This is half of the rap, so this is one track. So we started with, I guess we call it flat bar? Or, no, you started no, with round and squashed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of, I, that's what I always do, to be honest. I, I, I find you got a bit it. of a better, when you're coating especially, right? You don't have to be careful with uh, not heating it up so much and uh, keeping the flat shape and you just kind of go for it. So Tank's just reading the heat base here and he's focusing the heat on the wider part of the track so we can pull that out and barber it down a bit. So we only heat up the section of glass we want to work on, obviously, and the cold working is a whole other story. Let's change my axis there to pull it out straighter. Try it, and it's just like, what the hell happened there? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Yeah, there's certainly a running curve to it. Yeah. Let's see what I think about this. Check 
Tank Glass on Instagram. Tank Glass on Instagram. Tank Glass on Facebook. Get some. <laughs> Come and get some. Hey, actually. Uh, That's what I wanted to put it on the back of the shirts. Can I ask a favor? Can you bring us some of those pieces you've got in the kitchen now? Really careful. Special. Let's, yeah, careful, careful. Let's show off. There's some really prized stuff there. Let's make, uh, I'll make a space over here. We'll Step. I guess we're going to put a dome and a downspout on the back of this guy. On the, on the head, I guess, right? Yeah. Um, Should we down. do a curve? Like, just put an angle, like a, a L shaped downspout? Yeah, like curve, curve, the, curve the down. Yeah. got some Reaper Jazz, the Tall Brothers are joining us. And they're all going to do a lot of jamming together. This is good daytime music. Yeah, definitely start for a lot of jam. Yeah, so if you're coming to the gathering and you want to bring your instrument, that's encouraged. And hopefully on next week's show, I'll be able to show off the finished piece. Cross our fingers, see how much we get done here. I better get to work if we're gonna get it much done though. I'll get the downspout ready and the head and I or actually do you wanna do that part after and I'll get the head ready or yeah you should get the head and the Oh, kilns kilns air. So 
Carving those uh, tracks out? Yeah, I'm just gonna carve them. Carving up the first one right here. What are you oh, using for a tool there? I use this little pick. This little tapered pick. Seems to work good for me. I guess it's a stainless steel tool or? Probably. I don't know. Gotta have the flea market. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I thought I lost it the other day and I was very, very sad. And then I found it. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I started using another one, uh, this other one I have somewhere. But halfway through, the handle starts to heat up on me and then I can't even hold it anymore. That's no good. So this one, for some reason, just... 
doesn't get too hot too quick. I don't think we talked about a head shop of the week, and I don't really. I've got a couple in mind. Do you want to nominate someone? Who do you sell? Where's your glass available? I would like to nominate Higher Society Glass. Bam! They've been that is the Gabe Seamus uh, glass there. Seamus Grundy, is it not? Seamus Grundy. He's a yes. very excellent man. A very you find excellent man. I saw him at him. Champs. I have not had a close relationship with him yet. I look forward to my best stuff at his booth. Yeah? Awesome. So there you go. Higher Society, check them out. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. And Instagram, and Facebook, they're out of St. Catharines, Ontario. St. Catharines, Ontario, right. Just prepping up the chicken's head here behind the camera. Change the angle in a few minutes here. The tank's going to jump the track. Track number deuce. Dose. 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 Sway. Dose on that. I'm trying to remember my Dutch. I gotta look at that janky chicken uh, tail I put on that thing. It's pretty janky. I think it might have to come off and I might uh, weld a whole other tail on there. The droop plan didn't quite go as, as well as I hoped.
little too thick, too thick here. I have to pull it back up. That must be weird working on the Red Max. So slow. Yeah. It takes forever to heat something up. But it works. It works. I used the Red Max for a long time, five years plus. You can do it. Come about. 2000 to about 2004 or 2005. All right. Calipers anywhere? Metal or plastic? Ah, uh, metal one. getting camera jealous so I'm coming back in the shot oh before I do that actually I'm gonna set this down for a minute I'm gonna turn off my torch we've got some show-and-tell for you all here in a sec let's do that now put away my chicken head check out this glass this is something else I want to show off this glass so here we have some of the recent work that uh, tanks been up to with some collabs now I noticed the penguin obviously we've got iceberg in here let's have a close-up of that iceberg in the bubble <coughs> that's pretty sick look at the perk action two four six seven holes around the outside there I'm gonna I'll set the camera down I'm a little shaky I'm not I ain't no cameraman remember I did that I, I had to do that disclaimer on an episode so let's just let's just tripod up. There we go. Look at this piece here. Pretty crazy. Quite the tripod foot. Discs on each side there. Mouthpiece. I hope you can have an appreciation for this. Adjust my camera angle a little. Work with me here, folks. Yeah, and then we got this little short guy. Looks like a little owl piece. Direct inject off the back. That's me and Maddie. And you, yeah, tank iceberg. That's pretty sweet. Who's the dot work? Kesha. Yeah, Keisha. So this was done in Toronto then? Yeah, that's what I got up to while I was out there. That's great. I haven't had a chance to finish them off yet, but now that I got home, it's on the list. Whatever that means. Keisha Cola. Look at this guy. This one's pretty crazy. So we got a like a penguin mech. Yeah, check out his fire firearms here. Oh, 
Pretty awesome. Here, maybe if I set that down, let's let's see if I can get a shot of that. That's pretty sick. Look at that guy. That's a pretty sweet piece. Matching set here, kind of, hey? Or the two are, anyway. Same colors. This looks like a Colby collab here. That's awesome. Nice Sherlock. Hollow pendant. Say that again. Pretty awesome glass, brother. Anyway, there's a little show and tell, a little peek inside Tank's world. His imagination is wild. Collabing with some of the best artists in Canada. Killing it. And now back to our collab. Set this camera up in the right spot again. Killer! Alright, so let's get that chicken head out of the kiln and let's see what we got. I'm just doing the uh, joint part right now. So that's just his neck, that's going to be his head. I'm going to put the beak off the side this way. Some eyeballs on either side here. So, we've got a new tool to try out. Oh, thank you. So beeswax is past me here, so I'm going to just warm up the tool. I'm just going to roll it in there. important to put beeswax on your tools, especially the brass. Some people uh, grease up their graphite. That triangular one we use, I like to grease up that one. Bam! Okay, so now we gotta prep up just a little bit of yellow. Put the peak on this way. I could add the eyes now, I suppose. Okay, find some white. Got the uh, eyeball all white. For the moment, I'd say.
I need to make sure this is the right side before I do anything about it. sketch out the piece again make sure we got everything going the way the way we want a little hiccup I'm gonna have to remove my tail and do it over again so far that's what I've been up to track central almost almost there six coming percent. together really we need uh, to have a six hour show or and then speed it all up so we can show the whole thing I think that might be the thing to do next time So, and I also have to get back to the gathering site soon to finish getting set up and doing some more work. And build some benches and get some tents set up. But let's do a little bit more planning over here at the chalkboard. I think we all better medicate. Safety break! Yeah, I think it's a safety, safety break. break. Stop the press. I don't really want to show you what I've done so far because it's so fugly. But that was the chicken tail. I think it's just too fugly. I squeezed it in here and I could work with it, but I think if I remove it to make a new one with a better fan, I also might slim down the body. I'm just, I'm not happy with the whole body of this piece, but that can be tweaked and I'm sure it will and I'm sure it'll work out. Alright, I'll show you our sketch we started with, which is pale in comparison to what we're doing now. We just did a quick jot trying to get the shape of the piece together we had you know and this piece has evolved so much since this quick sketch so it's kind of why we need to take a safety break spark up a tube where's my maintainer don't leave home without your maintainer I tell ya I store all my joints inside Let's take a look at our sketch. I don't know if, the, if, it, if you'll be able to pick it up on the mirror. Sketching on a mirror, that's an interesting concept. <laughs> Get an angle here. No, see, I don't think we're gonna be able to pick it up. I just see a reflection of your shop and of your face. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work, does it? Oh well.
we got a lot of fun events coming up. I'll see you at Cannabis Day in Vancouver next week. Tune in. I don't know what's happening on the show, but it'll be something fun. We'll build something. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Sergeant Chicken says, don't stay straight, folks. There's lots of corners in life. Stay curvy. Cheers, folks. <laughs>